In this video, we're going to look at an abstract data type called a queue and how we might implement a queue. So a queue is familiar from waiting in line. So we add items to the back of the line and remove items from the front of the line. So a queue has first in, first out behavior. When we pop an item out of a queue, that's the item that's been in the queue the longest. So here's the abstract data type for a queue. Uh, we can add an element to the queue with the push operation. We can look at the oldest item in the queue with the front operation. We can remove the oldest element with the pop operation, and we can get the number of elements in the queue with the size function. The abstract data type for a queue is a subset of that for a deck or a linked list. So let's see why that's the case. So let's look at the push function in a queue. So that's analogous to push back in a deck. We just add an element to the, to the end of the deck. Uh, if we want to get the front element of a queue, that's like getting the element with index 0 in a deck. And if we want to remove the front element of the queue, so the pop function, that's analogous to pop front in a deck. Okay, so we can implement all of the operations of a queue uh, directly by using a deck. To use a queue in C++, you can use the standard library standard queue. As with standard stack, this is a container adapter. It's just a thin wrapper around another container, in this case, either a deck or a list. So again, if you use standard queue, you're giving up operations with respect to something like a deck. And in exchange, you're not getting any gains in efficiency. And just as what I said with a stack, uh, using a queue can make your program hard to debug because there's no way just to iterate through the queue and print out the elements in the queue. You have to modify the queue in order to see what's inside of it. So generally, when I'm coding, I probably won't use a queue and just prefer to directly use a deck instead.